Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to create your own Tor hidden service with a custom Onion address on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. So we all know what Tor is, right? Um, it's how you access the deep web or the dark web or the hidden web, as some people call it. It's this anonymous way to access web pages. And you probably also know that um, links on Tor have this funny looking .onion URL. Well, did you know that if you have the Tor client installed in your computer and you have a connection to the internet, you can actually create your own hidden service and you don't need to uh, register a domain name or anything like that. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, if you want to follow along, you'll need a computer. And I'm going to be using Linux, so I'd recommend you use some distribution of Linux. You're going to need a internet connection. You're going to need Python installed on that computer. And I think that's it. Also, if you'd like to learn more, go ahead and check out the link to the article in the description of this video. And without further ado, let's get started. OK, so here I am in Ubuntu. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a directory for our server to live in. So I'm going to mkdir, make a directory. Uh, I'm going to call it Tor Service. And then let's go ahead and navigate to that new directory. And then inside this directory, let's launch a Python server. This uh, requires Python 3. So Python 3 tag m, http dot server. Find, and we're going to do it on uh, 127.0.0.1. This is a better IP address to use for Tor and also prevents our service from being discovered from sites like Shodan. And we're going to do it on port 8080. Let's go and maximize this. No colon, just a space 8080. Um, I think that's it. Yes. All right. So that window is just going to be running our server. Let's go ahead and split this and create a new terminal. Um, and we want to have something for our service to show. We want to have something to, to see. We want to create some content. So let's create a uh, really quick HTML file. I'm going to create um, index.html. And let's go ahead and edit that. Just a really simple proof of concept thing. Um, HTML, body, cyber weapons lab, exclamation point body, HTML. All right, control S to save and control X to exit. And now that our server is already running and we have that HTML file in the directory, let's go ahead and test to make sure this works. Let's just go ahead and launch our um, internet browser and I'm going to navigate to localhost on port 8080. And there you go. You can see we have Cyber Weapons Lab displayed. We have our HTML page displayed. So now this is just being hosted on the local host. So now we want to host it on Tor. So what we're going to do is if you don't have Tor installed already, you're going to need to install Tor. Tor is different than the Tor web browser. You need to have the Tor client and the Tor web browser installed. So those are two separate things. So clear this out. We still have our server running. In order to host our service with Tor, we're going to, let's see, where is Tor? We're going to have to navigate to a specific file. Let's go to CD, etc. Tor. And here we're, we see this Tor RC file, and that's the one we're interested in. Let's go ahead and open that up. Tor RC. I believe you probably need uh, to do it uh, sudo because I think the directory that Tor is installed in is protected. All right, go ahead and scroll down until you see this block of text right here where it says this section is just for location hidden services. And then down here, it says hidden service dir and it gives a, a directory and then hidden service port. We're going to uncomment both of those lines. We're not going to change anything about them except on the hidden service port. We're going to change the port to port 8080 instead of just 80. All right, and I think that's all we need to do, go ahead and save and exit. Now let's go ahead and start Tor. Everything hopefully should work. This can sometimes give you some errors, but they're usually pretty easy to diagnose. All right, so now our hidden service should be working. So Tor is running in that Windows terminal. So let's go ahead and open a new terminal. 
And in this one, let's find what our new dot onion address is. So in order to do that, um, first of all, we need to do it as a super user. So let's go sudo su, I'm gonna type in my password, and then let's go ahead and navigate to this directory, uh, var lib tor, and then hidden underscore service. Let me move this over for you so you can see better. All right, and then let's look inside of this directory and you can see there's a file called hostname. So what we need to do is we need to just look at what's inside that file. Let's cat hostname and there you go. This dot onion address is your new location. So let's um, prove that it works. Let's go ahead and launch the Tor browser. It's gonna take a minute to load up. All right, now let's go ahead and paste that in. There you go. All right, it works. Now we are officially hosting a hidden service on the Tor network. And anybody in the world who has the Tor browser can now navigate to it. It's really just as simple as that. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out our website where we have hundreds of free articles and videos, as well as premium paid content like the Ethical Hacking Certification Bundle, which features pen testing with OWASP Zap, WordPress hacking and hardening, and the CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Prep Course. Check out the link in the description below. All right, guys. So as you can see, that was actually pretty easy. It wasn't very complicated at all. Keep in mind, though, again, that if you are using this to create a service that's going to get a lot of traffic or that um, you're going to be running for a very long time, I would not suggest using the Python server. Instead, I would probably have a dedicated device running like Apache or some other HTTP server software. And also remember that Tor is not perfect. It does not completely guarantee anonymity. And there have been plenty of, of instances in the past where people have been caught using Tor for nefarious purposes. So just keep that in mind um, and come at this with good intentions. I think that's it. Yeah, um, if you want to learn more about this, go ahead and check the article link in the description. If you have any suggestions for future videos, go ahead and comment or send me a message at Tim51092 on Twitter. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day, guys. Bye.